All right, g'day, hi, and welcome. Okay, I'm gonna do the final ass kicker of a heavyweight uh, power day exercise. 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds, a total of 200 pounds. Now, all I gotta do is carry these things. Uh, these are kind of set up a bit like a, a kettlebell, but not quite. I just gotta carry these back and forth across, across the floor as many times as possible. Uh, this is known as the farmer's walk. This is a really, really, it's a crazy exercise. It's hard. Be very careful when you're doing this. Only do what you do. I don't even know if I'll do it after lifting all the other weights today. Uh, I don't know how, if I have enough energy to do this. That. And uh, I'll just see what I can get done. Get myself lined up here. If I can get one rep, I'll be happy. Oh, 200 pounds. Here we go. One. <laughs> I hate <hit> myself. <laughs> Two. I think this is it. Two and a half. All right. Okay, that's not bad. Very good. I'm floating. I'm floating with a little bird. Ah. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll be doing five reps for that. Uh, but that's a great uh, heavyweight uh, to give you a piece of mind. Bell of the barbell here is 225 pounds. There's 100 pounds in each hand. Uh, that's mean. That's just cruel. These are uh, 60, so 120 pounds, keep the train style. This is an energy zapper like you wouldn't believe. One. Twenty-five and twenty-five. Uh, oh, this is good. Oh my god. They all birds though. Uh. 
That's only 10 pounds. Are you sure? And that is my slaughter fest of a power workout for today. Now I can go on to more sane, rational stuff. Oh, my camera's so heavy. Oh, my camera weighs like 52 pounds, I swear to God. How did that happen? Well, that's good, that works. So that's the farmer walk. So what I did, start off with those little puppy dogs there. Worked my way down to the kittens, then to the little squirrels, then to the chipmunks, then to the weasels, then to the uh, mouse, and then to the, uh, I don't know, what's smaller than a mouse? Uh, um, mole? Shrew? Then a mole? I, I don't know. But anyway, at the end of the day, how did my arm get so heavy? <laughs> uh, but that works. That definitely works. Really the forearms, you really feel it. Got to watch your joints. Uh, it, your entire body will burn. The legs, not so bad, but you do feel it in the legs too, so. Uh, but don't start off that heavy. That This is my third week. Uh, but that's the that's the burnout routine. If you've got any energy left in you and you got to work out, let's say you did a 30 minute workout, you feel like you can just go a little bit more, do that. You're done. You're done. I'm not done. Because now what I'm going to do is really reduce the weight and I'm just going to do some exercise. I don't know if I'm going to do this guy's exercises or I'm going to try some stuff that I wrote down. Uh, but I'm going to get to the bag. So that's kind of like my power day. It's very short. I got here at quarter to 12, so I've been here probably about an hour, but I took a lot of breaks in between, so yeah, I've been here about an hour. Um, I won't be doing this every, this is like once a week maybe, maybe even once every two weeks, I'll do this kind of power exercises. I will still do, incorporate those exercises as my normal repetitions and stuff like that, but just as a measurement of your, your, your progress of strength and power, you could do things like that. Just see what you're capable of getting away with. Uh, if you can't walk across the floor with 200 pounds, 100 pounds in each arm, don't try it. Uh, see if you can lift it. If you can't lift it safely, don't do it. I can lift it safely, but I can only do maybe, what, two walks there, two and a half walks. The other time I only did two, so I made an advancement of a quarter of a walk across the floor. Uh, but maybe the next week I might be able to do three walks across the floor with that weight. Till I can do it, uh, once that becomes easy, I'm not too afraid of uh, not making any gains. But that is a very stressful uh, hard uh, exercise. It is very energy sapping. So if you just have just a, you, you want to make sure you're completely depleted before you leave the gym, do the farmer's walk. It's just murderous. The first time I did it, I tried it with 50 pounds and I couldn't do it. That was in the first week. This is the third week and I got 100 pounds on, on each hand. So progress is slow, but sure. Well, actually quite fast if you think about it. Uh, will I go any heavier than that? I don't know if those dumbbells can be safely carried with any more weight than that on it. But at some point, I might be able to do 150 pounds in each hand uh, if I could find a safe way to carry it, uh, that type of thing. Uh, that's about as dangerous as I know. It feels like the, the plates are going to come off, so <laughs> I, I don't want to risk it. But that, that's more than a lot. And you really got to watch your elbows and your ligaments and stuff like that. If you, you pick it up and it's too heavy, just put it right back down. Work your way up to it. Because if you tear a ligament in your elbow, that's, that's it, right? But I do feel like I'm powerful enough to do it, and I did. So that's a good, it's a good place. And then I just keep working my way down, but my muscles are always at their max. Even going down from uh, 200 pounds to 120 pounds with the combined weight of the 60 and 60, that's still a really, you know, that was impossible for me to do on the first week. I couldn't do it. Plus doing the choo-choo train. Like I can't do the choo-choo trains with those. Or just, plus I, I'm afraid the plates will come off because they're, you know, they're just, you know, it's, it's just the way it's set up. So, but if you can find a better way to do it, sure. Uh, if you have better quality uh, barbells. But these barbells are really good. But 50 and 50 is a, is a challenge. And then, okay, you go across the floor a few times with that. Your, your, your muscles are just about popping. But rather than give up, just go to a lighter weight. Go to a lighter weight. Go to a lighter weight. Until you just can't do it. But by the time you get down to the 10 pounders, those 10 pounders, especially when I put my arms out like that, they felt like they were 100. Like, I mean, it, it, it saps you that much. Uh, it's great. It's great. So that's the farmer walk. So that's how. So today, let's recap. Start off with the bench press with, at 115 pounds. I started off, worked my way down to 95. Then I went to the deadlift, stayed, did five, uh, five sets, 
at uh, 225 pounds. Then I did the squats starting off at 95 and I worked my way down a bit. Or did I stay at 95? No, I stayed at 95 the whole way. Then I, the military press, I started off at 85 and worked my way down to 75. Then I finished up with the farmer walk and started off with 200 pounds, 120, 100, 90, 80, uh, 50, uh, 30, uh, and then 20. <laughs> so that's, that's my power exercise. Took about an hour to do it all, very good. Now I can do some high rep, lower weight stuff just to, now to build and stuff like that. So that's a good, gives me a good indication of next week when I start, what weights I should probably start at, where I can still maintain my technique, still get as much workout out of it as possible. So I don't have any lighter of a weight that I necessarily have to have so that I could push, keep my muscles at their maximum without not be able to get, get it done at all. Because you want to get, you know, just doing three reps of really heavy is good sometimes, but it's not good all the time, right? So you, you want to, uh, why is this thing? Uh, but anyway, uh, but any, anyway, you get what I'm getting at, that you, you want to keep yourself at a working level uh, and work your way down. So it's not always going to the point of exhaustion. At some point, you're going to